Hey everybody, I'm Heroic Nerd, and today we're reading another <laughs> Atlas comic. This is Barbarians, featuring Iron Jaw. So, um, to my understanding, because I've never read this, I wanted to read it with you guys. I, I mean, I don't want to read any of these ahead. I kind of like, I'm really enjoying, like, not knowing what's going on or what's going to happen. Being surprised by these things. So, yeah, but I do know for a fact that Iron Jaw is a character who has his own series, but this is like a spin-off of his series. Yeah, like there would be spin-offs of any Atlas characters, but this is one of them. And this is a spin-off of Iron Jaw, which is Barbarians featuring Iron Jaw, but We'll see. We'll start with this one. And I'm also... I'm looking for those Iron Jaw comics. I tell you right now, I want those ones. I want to, I want to do that. But they're, they're hard to find. A lot of these are really hard to find, so... I'll keep going as much as I can. I'll get as much as the Atlas catalog covered as I can. But for now, let's talk about Iron Jaw. Oh, look at him. Dude's a beast. And he literally has an Iron Jaw. Check that out. That's crazy. That's really cool. I'm not sure if that's 100% like, uh, how you say original, but it's pretty cool. He's got a nice little horse, and of course this is the first issue, this is the only issue, as is the case with quite a bit of these Atlas comics. Yeah, this is the only issue. Alright, here we go. Thousands of years in the future, the atomic war ravaged planet Earth once more has given birth to its original destructor, man. More primitive than his past, but still capable, indeed destined for death and destruction, one such man upon the planet's face is Iron Jaw, obviously. So this is, I guess, post-apocalyptic? It's not the olden times. This is actually a post-apocalypse, and Iron Jaw is born somehow? Okay, that's not, that's not really clear. Iron Jaw the Barbarian recently crowned the king of a land rightfully his only rightfully his only to abdicate his battle won throne in search of that which his life's blood the savage sting of battle. And it is battle which awaits him as he spurs his mighty steed upwards towards the cloud covered summit of the mountain of mutants. Up, oh, you got me. I'm in. Damn, look at all the mutants. It's one of them, one of the humans. Yeah, look at him. Iron Jaw battling the mutants. Seize him. The chief will reward us handsomely for his scalp. Since the reward is for hair, there is no need to burden yourselves with his body. Slay him. Why hair? That didn't make any sense. They have bounty rewards for hair? Weird. But it mentioned that Iron Jaw is a king. It says that up here. Recently crowned king. I, I wonder if that if that happens in his solo series. I know I know it's a four issue series, so it's it was pretty successful by Atlas standards. So there's four issues out there where I I guess Iron Jaw becomes king? King of something. But I'll have to look into that. Hopefully it's true. That that might be pretty cool to see that. And this must be like his adventures afterwards or whatever. What manner of greeting is this to a weary stranger in your land? Whosoever taught you these manners shall pay for his ignorance in blood. Oh man, he slashes at him. And he looks pretty sad about it, but I don't see no blood. I'm not seeing any blood, Iron Jaw. I don't think, uh... I don't think you're legit. By the great machine, are your numbers without end? Are you so savage you would not let me speak? I wish only to, and then they catch him. And toss him. We have him. His head struck a stone. Perhaps. But he is strong. He is strong of head and body. Strong of head. That's a good one. Uh, let us be certain before we relax our guard. To relax takes time. I will take his scalp now before he can recover. Halt! Oh, we have some kind of female mutant here. Your Majesty, we have felled an intruder. One of them. We are about to bring you his hair. With your permission, we will finish our task and present the trophy to you. She doesn't want you to do it for some reason. 
No, this specimen interests me. He is somehow different from the others. Stronger, much more handsome, and that iron jaw is most intriguing. I, I gotta agree with you there. Keep him alive, mend his wounds, feed him, and then bring him to me in my dwelling. Your queen has ordered you obey. Oh man, she's a... Uh... She's into Iron Jaw. She's a little bit too into him. As you wish, my sovereign. What does she mean, handsome? He's repulsive, like all the rest of them. Who knows what thoughts are on his mind? Who knows what thoughts are in the queen's mind? Oh, I know what thoughts are in her mind. It's not for us to question. Besides, in the end, he will be killed like all the others to whom she has toyed. Uh oh. I don't like where this is going, but you see, this is the crap I was talking about. These these Atlas comics, they always surprise you with this weird stuff. It, it gets me. Okay. An hour later, the shackled barbarian king is led to the clouded peak summit, where he views what few civilized men have seen before. The ancient cliff dwellings of the mutants. Yeah, it reminds me of Grayskull a little bit. Mostly because it's purple. It's like a purple castle. That's totally Grayskull. But it's kind of nice. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. This is back in the 70s before those the, like, the big wave of 80s cartoons. So. so far, I'm loving this art. Look upon this sight. Well, for it may be the last thing your hate-filled mind will ever comprehend. Ooh, they called him hate-filled. I, I mean, I can't disagree. Then I should rather close my eyes and think back to the beauty and wonders of the civilization I forsook to enter this wretched place. Watch your tongue, lest it be plucked from your mouth like the head is wrenched from a mountain hen. What? What is that? What? What does he mean? A mountain hen? What the fuck is a mountain hen? I don't... whatever. Silence, Goran. We must remember this queen's command. He is to be delivered to her alive. And then they push him inside. Inside, hate monger. We will fetch you when the queen summons. Does your queen always afford her guests accommodations of such dazzling luxury? Your tongue will yet prove your undoing, swine. That much I promise you. Uh-oh. How could I be so lacking in presence of mind as to be captured by a wretched band of mutants? Can I have surrendered a kingdom merely to die at the hands of the savages? And then there's a very fit, very attractive woman just in there with him. As is the case with a lot of these things. I mean, sex sells, you know. Perhaps, or perhaps like me, you tired of the hateful greed of the civilized world. What? As if he didn't see the woman right in front of him. The mostly naked, nude woman right in front of him. Oh, and he goes straight for her. And what have we here? Perhaps the mutant queen is not so ungracious a host as I presumed. I am but a prisoner like yourself. <laughs> He's a horn dog. He should be with the queen. Look at him. He doesn't even, he doesn't even skip a beat. You are a man. And you may do with me as you wish, for you can heap no further abuse on me than have our captors. Oh, man. That's... That alludes to some naughty things. Uh, they use you, those grotesque brutes. How could they dare? You were about to do the same thing! You literally just... Oh, my word. Iron Jaw. I didn't know that about you. Jesus. Dare what? Dare do me the same harm you yourself were prepared to do no more than a moment ago? Thank you, lady. You, ooh. This lady, she knows she knows her shit. Alright, I don't know why she's mostly naked, but whatever. She's I guess she's a, like a prostitute for the mutants. Weird. Uh, new men, mutants, there is really little difference between them, save their physical appearance. I like this lady. She's... She's very, uh, very sort of poetic. She's an insightful is the word I would use. I was kidnapped by robbers shortly after my birth, and I have been little more than the property of men ever since. And I fear I am destined to die in the same service that I have lived, the service of slavery. Forgive me for losing control of my emotions. 
It is because I have been here for a year with no one to talk to. Oh, that's so sad. I'm feeling things. I'm feeling things for this woman. I feel so bad for her. No, it is I who must beg your forgiveness. I knew not of your plight when first I was tossed into this dungeon. But you need fear me no longer. I will be your friend and will ask no more than friendship in return. Now come, dry your eyes and tell me more of these mutants that I might devise a plan for our escape. Oh, so he was gonna rape her. But now he feels bad. He's not in the mood anymore because he feels bad, so. Long hours later, and that... Oh, pfft, Jesus Christ, lady. This is... Okay, and... <laughs> I'm going to keep my mouth shut. And that is all I have been able to learn. After the great wars, our people drove the mutants into this mountain. And here they have remained. Through the centuries, always hating our people, but never strong enough to attack them. But how is this possible? I cannot understand it. How can such hatred continue to fester even after thousands of years? And why should we be made to pay for the sins of such distant ancestors? I don't know, bro, but this is reminding me of Fallout. This reminds me of the super mutants from Fallout and how this... Is, it is post-apocalyptic. This is pretty cool. You know, I, I'm... It's not perfect, but I'm entertained. Save your questions for the queen. She will receive you now. And if I do not wish to accept her invitation, then you will doubtless incur her utmost displeasure and die tomorrow in the arena. Okay. I think you should reject the queen. I'm trying to see this arena here, buddy. That that sounds like a climax. That sounds like a climax of this story if I ever heard one. Ugh. I have been in the arena before and not once have I been vanquished. Kicked him in the throat like a boss. Look at that. Therefore, tell your queen that is where she will see me. If indeed she is to see me at all. Bro, that is like the most... That is like... Mm. I have never in my life rejected a girl with so much ferocity. That is, I love it. Fool, this attack will cost you your life. If so, then let the price for it be high in mutant blood. Ooh, I like that. Stop, you have no chance. There are too many of them. Do not say that about Iron Jaw. He has an Iron Jaw. He's vicious. He could take him. I have faced greater odds and come away the victor. There is no reason I cannot triumph again. That will silence him. Now bind him and take him to the queen for sentencing. Never mind, they just whacked him and now he's down. Never mind, he's not a... That, that's the end of it. <laughs> I expected more Iron Jaw, but we'll see. What, we'll see. I mean, we have to get him to the arena somehow, so... Yeah. So far, I'm loving this. I don't know, I don't know how you guys feel, but I'm, I'm really loving this, man. Let me know in the comments what you think of this, because... You know, I mean, I'll, I'll say this. It's better than a lot of, like, just the garbage that was released in the 70s, you know? A lot of, like, the nonsense. I don't know. It's not bad. It's not bad. Atlas had, has, 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 it has some winners, you know? I was really surprised by Tiger Man. I thought it was stupid. I mean, it looks stupid, but it was actually pretty, pretty intense. We deliver the prisoner as requested, O Queen. But against his will. He attacked us in the cell and tried to escape. You should be warned he is dangerous. I would be disappointed if he were not. Now leave us. I will summon you if you are needed. Yeah, she's bored. She's bored and she just wants a man to entertain her. Yeah, he's a toy for her. She doesn't love him. She does not love him. He needs to get his ass out of there. He's going to reject her. Watch. So, my pretty one, you do not wish to do me favors. Favors. I hope I can persuade you to change your heart for mine has taken great fancy to your... Oh, I don't believe that. She a hoe. Never have I been with a man of your race, and I can hardly refuse to pass up so rare an opportunity. My gosh. Talk about saying it out loud. Oh! Nor can you afford to pay for it. I will not look upon a face so hideous as yours. Much less touch your decaying flesh. So stay away from me. Dang. Got it with the wood. I mean, he hit her with the wood. Just not the wood she wanted. 
as a little joke, you can take that one to the bank. Devil, you dare call yourself civilized, yet you treat a woman, a queen, with no more respect than you would a wild beast? Nah, she got a point a little bit. So be it then. If, you, if it is bestiality you seek, you shall receive. You have spurned me as your people have spurned mine for centuries. Only because our appearance is different. Yeah, she's got two points. That's fine. Your civilization is no different from that which was before the Great Wars. When men pitted their atomic might against each other for no reason. Save different political beliefs and different colored skins. But even that didn't teach you. For those of you who survive continue to hate and lust for that which belongs to others. If only we could make you understand, we would spare you. But since we cannot, prepare him for the arena. I knew he was going to the arena. Let's do it. Oh, and... Hours later, after a long, sleepless night. So they didn't sleep. I don't know. You could use your imagination as to what they did, but they didn't sleep. Jesus, Iron Jaw ended up getting it anyway. That's crazy. Um, that, whatever. Then I will be pitted in combat against a giant mutant eight feet tall who will be armed while I am not. By the great machine, even so mighty a warrior as I may find such odds insurmountable. Iron Jaw, man, you gotta have more confidence, bro. But it doesn't have to be that way. Do the queen's bidding. You need only ask. And I am certain she will spare you. What? Become her... Whatever she wants me to be? Never. I am Iron Jaw. And I was born a king, so I shall die. You know what? That's weird. She, she wants you to go and bang the queen to save yourself because she loves you a lot for some reason? Hmm. Feel, I'm sensing a bit of projection. But I do agree with Iron Jaw here. That's pretty badass. He's like, man, I ain't banging no mutants. I'll, I'll die first. The time has come. Stand your ground, dog, or you will die here and now. Bring the girl. The queen has decreed that she die first. Oh, what a twist. The girl's gonna die first. Oh, and there's nothing you can do. You can save us, Iron Jaw. Forget your pride. You only need speak to the queen. What say you, Iron Mouth? Shall I call her majesty, or do you let the girl die? Oh my god, what is he gonna do? Oh my gosh. You, you, you gotta, like, kill them all, dude. You gotta, there's, there's only one way. They're insane, man. You can't force people to have sex with you. Jesus Christ. I don't care how insecure you are, man. You can't force people to have sex with you. I mean... Alright, let's see what happens. I'm in. I'm in. This is it. I'm invested. I hope you guys are too. This is crazy. This is going places, alright? If this be my final day on this desolate planet, then my last view of it will be from my feet, not from my knees before the queen of an inferior race. Oh my gosh. He said that. He did. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I feel about that. Let's keep going. So be it. You have hurled your last insult. Move before me and do so carefully lest I cleave your black heart with my arrow. He, he, I mean, there, there are no good people in this story. I like it. There's no good people in this. Then after a short but hopeless walk. Surprise, mongrel. The girl lives. You have only to walk to the middle of the arena to save her. I do not understand. You said she was to be executed. I don't understand either. I feel like this is a cop out. She is, but only if you cannot prove your superiority of your race by rescuing her. Now, the gauntlet is thrown to you, into the arena, and may you never leave it alive. That's crazy. As you wish, my captor, <laughs> but not without at least some token weapon, okay? he's Oh, he's stealing the dagger, for which I am in your debt, careless one. Stop him! He's stolen a knife from me! But of course I was told to rescue the young wench, and how else could I quickly loosen her bonds? Stand back! Wait, is that the queen up there? Oh, you guys can't even see her. Stand back! Uh, let him keep his puny weapon. He will... We all know it will be a little use to him. 
No, Iron Jaw, go back. Run for your own freedom. If you try and save me, we both are doomed. Hmm. Let's see. What, what, what do they got there? The only certain doom is when the heart ceases to beat, wench. And thus, far, both of our still pound strongly, even though they may seem to be in our throats. And there's the eight-foot-tall mutant he was talking about. Goddamn bloody legend over there. All right. Let's do this. By the stars, never have I faced so awesome a foe. Then our destinies are different, monstrous one, for mine's is merely to survive. Oh, wait, hold on, what did he say? Nor will you again, for you are one of them, and it is my sole destiny to destroy you and all the others of your race. Mm. There is little nobility in such destiny, Iron Mouth, but that is of no consequence, for in the next few moments, the days of both the woman and yourself will be ended by my hand. If that be so, then act, behemoth, lest your lips serve to betray you. Guys, I'm loving this shit. This is crazy. It's intense. It's intense. Kind of like Tiger Man. Like, you think it's family friendly. It's not. It's got edge. It's got some edge. <sighs> Let the prattle end and the combat begin. Our barren soil cries out for the blood of the enemy. I hear you, my queen, and I rush to obey. Let's see, let's see what he's thinking. He moves quickly for one so huge. Still, even he must possess a weakness. They all do. My time grows short. I must think, remember, what I was taught in the old days when I was the Tarlock and the robbers. Ooh. That's probably from the previous, uh, from the previous stories. I, it's, it's hyping me. I'm gonna check them out. Much better now. It all comes back to me. Tarlock said, no matter how superior the foe is in size and speed, the better mind will prove the victor. Hmm. Superior mind. Let's see. What do you got, Iron Jaw? That was a most feeble attack, my foe. Surely your people's best can fare better against me than, low li than lowly likes of you. Open your mouth once more that I may hang uh, your foul tongue from the tip of my sword. You boast well and swing a strong mace, but it is your tongue which has already decided our battle, for I will blither and boast when I attack. What is- oh, he kicked him in the knees? Possibly in the testicles? Uh, oh, he broke his knees. The battle is men ended more because of your uncontrolled temper than your lack of ability as a warrior. What say you, queen of mutants? Has your warrior fought well enough in defeat, or shall I slit his throat? You tell me since you are so concerned with man's inhumanity to man. Oh, fuck, he just made a damn good point. Look at that mutant, broken kneecaps and everything, oof. Mm. That's brutal and I love it. Okay. <laughs> Much later, following the queen's decision and a hearty feast, I thank you once more, Iron Jaw, for showing mercy to my champion and for proving my thoughts on your race narrow. Perhaps at some time in the future, things can change between our people. Perhaps, Your Majesty, I must offer thanks to you and your people for your hospitality. And for opening my own far too long blind eyes to the fact that all of us are men, regardless of our appearance. One day all mankind will stand in your debt, as do I at this moment. That turned around quick, but I ain't mad. I like that, dude. I like that, I like that climax, dude. Snapped his kneecaps, sent his ass straight to the ground. And you, Jiro. Oh, the mutant's name is Jiro. You are a foe more worthy than any I have ever faced, and I must say the same for you. I only pray the great machine sees fit that, if we should fight again, it will be on the same side. It is, it still is difficult for me to comprehend how I could have been so wrong about a people. It will be even more difficult to convince the others. That must be our quest, to make peace between the two races. Yes! So it shall. Perhaps this day for the first time, I am truly a civilized man. And then, the beginning? In question marks. Alright, I ain't mad about that. Iron Jaw had a nice little adventure. He went to a castle. He fought a big old mutant. It's post-apocalyptic. I don't know. 
I don't know. What do you guys think? I liked it. I thought it was great. I can't wait to read more of Iron Jaw. I mean, he's got a unicorn. That's always cool. You know, it's got it's got a little bit of that um, race and tolerance kind of uh, morality to it, which I don't mind. In the end, they got along and ended up respecting each other, and that's what really matters. Not that one secedes or the other, but that they respect each other in the end, even though they're different, and that they're allowed to be different. But, you know, uh, that's it for this one. But we uh, are not quite done. Um, I have another one coming. Here's a sneak peek. Bam! <laughs> yeah, it's it's another story. But it's called Andrax. But that's going to be in the next video. Um, yeah, there's actually two stories in this issue. Uh, that was the first one. And we'll be covering this next one in the next video. But that's it for this one. If you liked reading this comic with me and you want to read more comics with me, consider liking and subscribing. Uh, if you're feeling very generous, I do have a Patreon. Uh, you can help fund all this crap. Uh, until next time, nerds, stay heroic.